yes girl I bathe in that fix plus <laughs> I anoint myself with that fix plus amen one two three go hey you guys so as you can see by the title I'm here with a chit chat get ready with me um I feel like I haven't done a chit chat in like a month and usually I like to do two a month so yeah this is going to be my next chit chat um so yeah I'm just here getting ready to go out and run some errands I'm off today so that's just what I'm gonna be doing today um See, I'm gonna go ahead and get started. I do have some things to talk about today. But before I get started, like I always ask you guys, if you ever have any questions for me, just always, you know, comment down below, like pertaining to me personally or anything you wanna ask me, go ahead and ask me in the comment section and I'll definitely on my next chit chat or make a separate video about that topic I want you want me to talk about. Um, so yeah, just always feel free to ask me questions or anything you want me to just talk about that, you know, I might have some insight on. Go ahead and just write it down below and just let me know what you want me to do. So the first thing I'm going to talk about is recently, y'all, I think this is so crazy, that there has been someone going around and like emailing small hair companies pretending to be me, you know, in order to get free hair. And recently it's been about five companies that's contacted me and has asked me like hi uh, did you you know email us about being a hair model or reviewing our hair because we got an email from another email you know saying it was you so we're just trying to see if it's you and I'm just like what like someone's pretending to be me you know emailing companies for some free hair like I think that's crazy um but yeah like I just don't see why hair is that serious for people to you know to be trying to swindle a company just to get some free hair like it's never that serious like really where are your morals like that's not right to be com you know contacting companies pretending to be someone else just to get some free hair like hair is never that serious you know if you don't have it to get it then don't get it until you can get it like I don't know it's just crazy to me like I know I've seen a lot of youtubers talk about that and for it to like happen to me it's just weird I'm just like what someone's pretending to be me like they literally made like the email I have is just underscore more at hotmail.com and they're using just underscore more at outlook.com so it's literally almost the same email like they went they took their time out their day to make this email and then start emailing small companies for hair and it's like companies you know that you haven't heard of because they literally might have just started um their company up like not a few days ago like that's how small the companies are and they you know looking for people to review their hair so it's just weird like most companies you know aren't dumb like youtubers don't contact companies for hair you know they contact us so off the bat if a youtuber is like hi i want to do a review for your company i have this 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 you know these many subscribers like give me your hair <laughs> and that's just crazy like youtubers don't do that like we're not out here begging for hair you know it's just what we do and it comes with the perks of being a youtuber and that's endorsing not endorsing but you know getting other companies names out there using this platform and that's just crazy that people want to take advantage of companies like that like they're people too hair is never that important um so a few updates on my life i'm still on my current job but y'all i have been on it with trying to apply to a different job because i'm 20 well, I say I'm 24, but I'm about to be 24 in less than two months. But I've been saying I'm 24, you know, because I kind of forget that I'm 23. I'd be like, oh, 24. But yeah, I'm about to be 24. So working where I'm at now is just not where I should be at as far as, you know, I'm not saying I feel like that I'm better than the people that work there because I'm not. I'm just saying like as far as what I've done, as far as school, you know, my skills. Um, I need to be somewhere where I can actually 
use those skills that I learned in school and get on with my life, move out, live life, enjoy my 20s. Because right now I can honestly say like I am not enjoying my 20s. Like I don't enjoy living at home because my parents are very strict so they're very overbearing you know when I want to go somewhere I have to let them know where I'm going if I'm staying the night and then like if I stay the night somewhere like they expect me to come home like in the morning like no if I if it's the weekend like say I'm staying the night at my friend's house on a Friday night we go out and then on Saturday I want to do something with another friend it's like they're just like well didn't you do something yesterday and I'm just like um yeah but it was with a totally different friend like they think of it as like you're like people my age don't you know hang out this much but I'm just like what like just because y'all got married at my age and you know hung up the towel real quick don't mean that's what I want to do I want to enjoy my 20s you know I want to meet new people hang out with my friends do different things you know enjoy Atlanta like that's what you're supposed to do Atlanta is a very popping city why would I not want to enjoy that you know it's so much going on every weekend I think gay pride is this weekend next weekend is something else like it's always festivals going on music festivals different events Afropunk is coming to town in October like I'm definitely trying to go to that and I just feel like where I'm at in my life as far as my parents and then my job like with my job it's like you work whenever like it's not like Monday through Friday it's like you might work holidays you might work you have to work weekends and it's like I want to work somewhere where I have weekends off I have holidays off like I don't want to miss important things with my friends and my family because of my part-time job you know at some store like no like I want an office job where I work nine to five you know working in a corporate place until you know I make it in my life to where I can work for myself you know and it's just like at this point in my life it's just like I'm just like so anxious to enjoy my 20s and it's like I can't do anything about it you know except for you know do all that I can but when it comes to timing I can't predict that so it's like I'm trying to really predict what I want to do at a certain time in place all right so i went on ahead and just uh blended out my concealer off camera because my camera like kind of shut off so yeah i can only do like eight minutes at a time so once i shut up i was like let me just do this off camera but you guys like i've been waiting to get a new camera and some new lighting and it's like dang when's it coming okay because let me tell y'all all right so my dad like he really likes how i'm doing youtube and stuff like that like i finally i finally found something that i like and that um, I like doing you know so he wanted to support me by you know say you know if you I, I told him how I want a new camera you know that's better and actually films in 1080 and has like a um, one of them little flip out viewfinder things so I found like the perfect camera right and so I told him about it and he was like okay well Write me a business plan, you know, of what you plan on doing with your channel. And I wrote it out like it was so good. It looked real legit, you know what I'm saying? Because, you know, like, that's how you do it in the real world. If you want someone to invest in you, you got to have to have a, bu a business plan. So I wrote a business plan, and, um, you know, I told him that was, like, maybe three weeks ago. So now I'm just like, uh, TikTok, where is this camera at, sir? Can I get my camera soon or are you still planning on investing because I really need it soon. Like I'm trying to get a new camera. I'm trying to get a ring light. You know and like I was saying like the job I work at is like okay like it's good if you're like in high school or something. But honestly at my age no I need a full time job. Like I can you know I can barely even save with my checks. Like it's nothing. And then I don't really get any hours. So like I've really been wanting to quit for a long time but you know I just can't quit without having something else lined up so I've been sticking it out with y'all like I've really been like dreading going to my job I hate it so much but I still do a good job because you know at the end of the day it is a job and I want good references for you know the next job I get so I do a good job but y'all I hate that job so much I don't see how people can like I don't see how my coworkers can do it like some of them are younger than me so I can understand but Nah, I can't do it. I can't do it no more. Like, I'm ready to make more money, buy more stuff. 
<laughs> get my own place like you guys I just have this vision of my place like I would like a roommate because I'm a scaredy cat and I cannot live by myself but I can live by myself but like I would need like a cat or something so if I hear like a bump in the night I can be like oh, it was the cat it might not have been the cat but you know I'm gonna blame it on the cat so my mind can be easy so I can go to sleep <laughs> um so yeah next subject <laughs> um Okay, I know I can talk about it. So y'all know I always be talking about guy situations and stuff. But y'all, for once, it's good, okay? Because I'm actually talking to somebody now. Um, and it was kind of unexpected, kind of. Well, it was really unexpected because, um, you know, we started out as fr just friends, you know, hanging out as friends and stuff. Like, just friends. And then out of nowhere, it went from, like friends to something else real quick and it's going really good you know but it's just so weird like once like it's so weird like when you're single it's like everybody be like on some bs they're not really you know messing with you like that and it's like right when you get somebody it's like oh hey hey stranger you know you get the hey stranger text like boy if you don't like it was funny because not to put anybody on blast but i went out with the guy I'm talking to along with like some of my friends and I had put it on snapchat like he was like not passed out but he was asleep and I was like party foul on my snapchat and so that same night it was like three people who had like DM me and was like oh I think we should start hanging out again oh you do that's what you think sorry you're too late like I'm just out here being lonely no I'm not waiting on nobody for you to come around. You had your chance a year ago and you blew it. So don't come back to me like, hey, stranger. Uh, bye, stranger. Stranger danger. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> that was lame. But for real, though, like, that's crazy to me. Especially if I put someone on my Snapchat, like, you know it's real. I don't be broadcasting nobody. I don't be letting nobody about my business until I know it's like, good to go I wanted to be like when they were like hey stranger I was about to be like new phone who this even though I still like I don't delete numbers so their number was still in my phone but it was just like new phone who this <laughs> uh, I always feel like my chit chats are boring I don't know I don't know if y'all like listening to certain stuff I talk about that's why I always ask to just go ahead and Put down what you want me to talk about. I would do more chit chats if y'all want me to. Or shirt, shirtin. I can't even talk. <laughs> or certain topic videos in general. I'll do that. Or if you guys want to email me questions. Like some YouTubers have been doing. Like they email them situations. And I just have my input on it. Along with my subscribers in the comment section talking about it. I don't know what y'all want to see from me. Um, like I always say I'm trying to do more of my channel. And like I've been saying, the more stuff I want to do, I need a new camera for. So dad needs to get on that. But you know, I'm doing what I can right now. So, you know, one step at a time. But yeah, I'm going to try and do, I want to do more chit chats because I like talking and I like hearing myself talk. I'm not going to do my hair on camera because I honestly think I just want to keep these, these braids in real quick. Since I'm just going to the eye doctor to pick up my contacts. And one thing about contacts, I've been wanting to get colored contacts for a long time. But I'm like blind, y'all. Like, I was looking at like Pinky Paradise. And I, I have astigmatism, so I don't know. Like, I know they do astigmatism contacts too, but I don't know. Do y'all know like any good contact companies that like specialize in colored contacts? Because I really like colored contacts. Like, I don't care what nobody say. Like, I want colored contacts. I don't care if they're childish. Like, I don't care. Like... I don't know. I don't see a problem with color contacts, honestly. I know some people be like, Ugh, why are you wearing fake contacts? Why am I wearing fake hair? Why are you wearing fake eyelashes? Like, I look at it as an accessory. Especially if you really do makeup looks. Like, I feel like some makeup looks look better or look nicer with certain eye colors. Like, if you're doing a smoky eye and you got, like, some gray contacts in, like, that makes a smoky eye pop so much. Like, I know smoky eyes make any eye pop. Like, my eyes look nice. 
with the smoky eye. I, I feel like I have nice eyes, even though they're brown. Like, I don't care. I like my eye color. I like my eye shape. But at the same time, I would like to switch it up and have different eye colors for different days. You know, I even want to try, like, the anime contacts. Like, the circle lenses. And make my eyes look even bigger. Like, I think that would be so awesome. I don't know. I'm just talking. Yes, girl. I bathe in that Fix Plus. <laughs> I anoint myself with that fix plus amen <laughs> I'm sorry that was so lame but yeah I think I'm pretty much done with my look um, I'm about to head to the eye doctor to pick up my contacts like I said I was gonna go to the mall but I really don't need to spend no more money because I'm about to buy this ticket for this event that's going down in Atlanta um I don't know like I feel like I should tell y'all about it. if y'all live in Atlanta it's this um event coming up called Hini Palooza why did I just have this accent? Henny Palooza. And, um, yeah, I'll have it down below. Um, I think, actually, that, like, the general admission tickets, like, they are only $50 right now. But, yeah, um, look into it. It's called Henny Palooza. And it's just this really cool music event that usually happens in, like, other cities. But they're coming to Atlanta this year. And me and my friends really want to go. It's open Hennessy Bar. So that's why you know you gotta be 21 and up. So if you're not 21 and up, I'm sorry, but if you are 21 and up, definitely check it out. That would be awesome if um, you know, a lot of people come out who do watch this video. We could meet up and have some fun. Like it's not really gonna be a meet and greet, but it'll be fun to meet some people if you do decide to go. So yeah, like I always say, thanks so much for watching. If you have any topics that you guys want me to talk about, then definitely comment down below. If you have any questions you want me to answer, comment down below as well. I think I'm gonna make a separate video asking if you guys want me to do like a quick a quay. <laughs> a Q&A video um, just to get to know me more. I know I already talk about my life a lot, but if you want me to, you know, elaborate on some things or anything that you want me to do video-wise or just talk about, just like I say, always let me know because I love suggestions. I love getting new ideas from different people. I have no problem with criticism, so just let me know what you want to see from me, and I'll be so happy to do that. Thanks so much again for watching, and don't forget to rate, comment, and subscribe. Bye!